Hey, McGinn, welcome back to our read alouds. It's good to see you again. We are going to jump into our Thursday read here in a couple minutes. Um, again, I took this book from some of the things that came new over the summer uh, so that we can continue to look at what, what the new titles are that are on the shelves. So I'm going to read to you today a book that's called Chocolate Milk, Por Favor, and it's celebrating diversity with empathy. And I think the lesson in this will be really good for everyone to hear. Here we go. <clears throat> Johnny was walking into school when he first saw the new kid. What a baby, he thought, as the boy cried and held his mother's hand. She whispered something, something to him, words that sounded different to Johnny. Mmm, delicioso, the boy smacked his lips as his mother handed him a chocolate milk. Let's welcome Gabe to our classroom family. He will not understand our words at first. Think about what you can do to help him. Johnny's teacher announced with a smile. Johnny didn't smile. He didn't like boys who cried. At reading time, Gabe sat next to Johnny. Johnny pulled his book close to his chest. I'm not sharing with him, he thought. Cry baby, whispered Johnny to Gabe. Gabe didn't say a word. It was lunchtime. Gabe whispered to the lunch aide, Lita, con chocolat, por favor? The boy behind him announced, I think he wants a chocolate milk. Johnny watched his friend help Gabe and spoke up. Look, he's not like us. He can't even order lunch. Johnny sat and enjoyed his lunch while Gabe sat alone, drinking his chocolate milk. During recess, Johnny spotted Gabe doing a tricky soccer move he had been trying to master for weeks. He just couldn't do it. Join our team, a girl shouted to Gabe. Gabe didn't move until she motioned for him to come over. Gabe waved over to Johnny before running to the field, but Johnny ignored him. The team high-fived their new teammate. Well, look at him. He thinks he's so cool, Johnny told himself as he blinked back tears. I won't be a crybaby. Johnny's jaw dropped. Why were they being so nice to Gabe? What fun was he when he couldn't even talk? All week, Johnny watched Gabe from a distance. Gabe came to school every day. He still never said anything, but was trying new things. By the end of the week, Johnny sat alone at lunch, and Gabe was surrounded by boys and girls laughing and sharing with him. At recess that day, Gabe kicked the soccer ball over to Johnny. Johnny shook his head no. Gabe did the tricky move anyhow. It's so hard. How did you do that? Johnny asked. Gabe showed him the move over and over again. And finally, Johnny did it. Yes, he shouted. Gabe beamed and patted him on the back. As Johnny walked back to the school, Gabe silently by his side, something clicked. He got it. That horrible feeling of being frustrated, wanting to cry because he couldn't get the soccer move, that's how Gabe must have felt learning a new language. I did it. I finally got the tricky move. And Gabe is getting it too. Johnny believed. The next morning, Gabe was walking into school when Johnny waved to him. Hi, he said, handing Gabe a carton of chocolate milk. I know it's your favorite. Thank you, Gabe replied. Johnny and Gabe both smiled. Today would be a great day. Johnny learned that actions speak louder than words. He understood that to have a friend is first to be a friend, and having a friend meant the world to Johnny. Boys and girls, I love uh, the meaning of that story and how it talks about um, giving to others and uh, being supportive, helping, understanding that some things can be difficult for individuals. Um, no matter what it is. And it's just great to have empathy. It's great to um, give that support out. And I hope you do that with one another and any new students who would come here. There's just a great opportunity to, um, to be kind and, and to recognize what others need. So I will talk to you soon again. Take care.